We're going on a trip, Weekender Landing, to Mosquito Pass. How do you feel about that, Trey? Yeah? All right, pulled in. I uh, get some last minute groceries at this random little tiny store. Here's another guy going on an adventure. I don't know who he is, but he's ready to go.
Alright, so here we are. It's snowing. I don't think my girlfriend really wants to camp in the snow. But we're gonna do it just to do it. We were supposed to go to Tellerad this weekend, but the weather was so bad that we decided just to do a closer trail. This is Mosquito Pass. Uh, a little over an hour from my house to the trailhead. Never done it. Was going to meet up with uh, field, a couple field craft guys, but they canceled the trip because of weather. Uh, they were doing something, they were going to do something with Wounded Warrior Pro Project and a local news channel. So it makes sense that they canceled it because of the weather. So here we are snowing. It's going to get well below freezing tonight. We got the truck leveled out a little bit. I might try and rig up some type of uh, an awning. I took my awning off because I was messing around with this solar awning. Uh, but I do have a tarp. There's no trees nearby, unfortunately. I forgot my, uh, my like, I have these like pole, tent pole kind of things that I use this to make an awning with and I forgot them at home. So we'll see if I can rig something up. Hey bud, he's keeping lookout for some Jeeps we got over here. Guard dog Atreyu. So I got the tent up. This isn't awesome. At least I'll be able to come under here to cook and whatnot. Normally I have some tent poles to lift this up, but don't have anything right now. And it's snowing, so this is just gonna get heavier and heavier. Not the best. Okay, we'll see. I bungeed this up to my tent up here to raise this section. And now I can, I can pretty much stand up under here. I bump it a little bit. But, not the end of the world. So about this at Costco. I'm gonna see if this will run it all night or as long as it needs to. Sometimes I use these in the winter just to kind of heat up the uh, sleeping bag before I hop in it. And then you don't need to really run it the whole night because once you're in it, uh, you're heating the bag up. So you could run it all night, but I usually just like to preheat my sleeping space to make it a little nicer. And I'll be using this, so that way I'm not pulling any juice from my car battery. We'll see how it goes. I'm just using the case as a little windscreen. It's plastic, so it'll melt if it's too close. So it's it's offset a ways in here, and this is not heating up too much. I do have a windscreen in here, but I'm too lazy to get it out. Just for a few wieners. So these guys are cooking up. Mm. I'm wearing this Arcteryx jacket with the Tactical Distributors hoodie underneath. A little bit of beef jerky. One of my hats. Delta stretches. Some speed crosses. I do have some waterproof boots in the car as well. I think my feet may be getting a little bit wet here walking around in the snow. It's a nice spot. Coming for you. I'm sitting in the rocker from GCI. GCI Outdoors. Got some blue skies peeking out now. Look at that some fog rolling in over there. So that's a moose in the middle of the frame. I'm filming this at 4K. Maybe I can crop it in. 
I gotta try you on the leash now because I don't want him to get hurt. I watched a movie in the car with the heater running a little bit here and there. I'm brushing my teeth right now, but it's time for bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, didn't sleep that well because it was so windy and my dog kept on sleeping on my legs, so I was a pain. But this morning's pretty beautiful, check it out. And there's this brat. Just noticed the three moose are back to join us. One there, there, and there's another one right here. The tree the water is all frozen. Water jug in the cab of the truck, uh, and it didn't freeze, so it didn't get cold enough to freeze the water in the cab. It's a little windy this morning, so I'm gonna set this heat shield up to block some of the wind while I boil some water. Also to note, butane cans, which is what this stove is, aren't as good for cold weather because the butane can freeze, uh, so you don't wanna let the cans get below 32 degrees or they're not usable anymore. So propane's better for colder camping, but I kept these butane cans in the tent and then I've had them, I just put them in my pocket in my jacket to kind of warm them up, keep them warm. For breakfast, we're keeping it easy. Some of these little oatmeal things. This is why I can't have nice things.
I use a stopwatch so I know roughly when these tires will get full.